and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 on the Sega Dreamcast. I am one well sheep yet again. Oh, I hate it when they leave me behind. Oh, this makes me very angry. Look, it's Shadow. I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I! Shadow, we need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow. know about that like seriously this is no he never gets told this at all at any point in the story how does he know about the pro the prototype of shadow whatever whatever what the fuck was scooby do whatever leave this one to me shadow what are you doing And now we are, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to begin the beginning of the end of Sonic Adventure 2 with the boss fight against the prototype ultimate life form, the Bio Lizard. And I want to know how the hell do they manage to turn this monstrosity into a hedgehog? It's absolutely beyond me, but whatever. We're fighting the prototype version of Shadow, technically. And this boss fight can either go extremely well or extremely badly, depending almost entirely on your luck. Because uh, you can't hit this guy directly. What you need to do is you need to wait for him to reveal his weak spot, which is basically this grind rail. When it gets unveiled, you can grind up it and then hit the weak point at the top of his body for massive damage. Any homing attack to his body will just be absorbed and completely ignored by him, you know, ladies and gentlemen. 
And from time to time, he's going to stop and he's going to shoot out these dark antimatter orbs at you. Just jump over the ones that go across the ground and somersault underneath the ones that go across the air. It's a bit tricky a maneuver because uh, you basically need to be pinpoint precise with your timing. And, you know, th this, this is not an easy boss fight, you know, ladies and gentlemen. This is a boss fight that will give you trouble. And it, it's very rare that a Sonic the Hedgehog boss fight I find but give gives me trouble and this is one of the ones that does almost all the time at least in Dreamcast version because if you recall previously in the LP I did say the Dreamcast version I do have trouble with the homing attack well that can actually screw you over in this particular boss fight and again it only happens to me in the actual Dreamcast version I don't have the issue in any other version of the game because I just find the homing attack would be a lot more reliable in the battle, in the GameCube release of Sonic Adventure 2, which is, uh, you know... For some reason it just doesn't lock on as much as I would personally like in the Dreamcast version, which... Is a bit annoying. Is a bit annoying. Maybe I'm just not good at aiming and depth percep- well, I know I'm not good at depth perception, but... Maybe I'm just not good at aiming and they just sort of refined that in the battle version, or... I don't know, but basically I have I struggle to aim with my home and attack in this one and it does screw me over because when we get around to the roughly the halfway point of the boss fight here, he's doing it right now, we actually do get to change up our pattern a little bit and instead of having to use his grind rail, we need to use his pink orbs of death in order to homing attack on and just boop our way all the way up to his weak point, his giant glowy fuck me light and well Oh, we attack it to inflict damage, you know, ladies and gentlemen. This boss fight is actually quite a damn pain when you don't know what you're doing, you know, and this... Honestly, your first time through with this game, you will probably die against this guy more than once. I would I would honestly say that, but uh, I like the boss fight, all things considered, and the music in the background supporting me is... It's a fantastic boss theme. I love the music in this stage, and I, I just love the Bio Lizard's design. The only sort of thing that gets me is, apart from like one foreshadowing image you see of the bio lizard on like a newspaper scan that most people didn't even notice way earlier on in the LP, you don't really see much of this guy and he does literally come out of pretty much nowhere. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. But again, that was me struggling with the homing attack for that. What the hell happened? Okay, whatever. Yeah, I struggle with the homing attack a little bit, you know, ladies and gentlemen, so do not fret, I cut past the editing, so you get to see things as quick as possible. Now, when we get to the final phase, he will change up the, his entire battle strategy, and we will basically need to hover straight towards the center, fuck me late, and boop it one last time. It's a pain in the ass to dodge all the pink orbs, so just be careful, I can tell you that much. Get out of prototype! But with that, that is it for the Bio Lizard. Now it's time to move on. Yeah, move on to the final boss of the game. Right. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power is enriched by the heart. Control is the one that unifies the chaos. Only you can do this. Stop the Chaos Emeralds! I don't know, Shadow. You tell me! Since we've stopped the Chaos Emeralds, why is this space colony still on a crash course to Earth? The prototype is still alive, and he's controlling the space colony as it's fallen to Earth. He's become one with the space colony, and is determined to keep it on its collision course. Sonic?
And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to fight against the final hazard. As you can easily tell, the bio legend himself has basically strapped... Well, not so much strapped himself too, he's basically shoved the cannon of the Space Colony Arc up his ass. So now we need to go and go take him out before the colony crashes into the planet. And I love this boss fight. I love the music, I love the atmosphere, and I love the fact we get to play a Super Sonic and Super Shadow who... Looks awfully silver for some reason. I don't know why. I think it was like a. I have no idea why they went with silver for sh Super Shadow in this game. They change him. They change him into a normal yellow color afterwards, or a bit more of a creamy color. But this boss fight is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. What we need to do basic basically is move from our static position, go straight up to the bio lizard, and hit the fuck me points on his body. Just basically press the A button to go up and the X button to go down, and whenever you're near the fuck me point, just press the A button to homing attack into it in order to inflict damage. And this boss fight can either be extremely good or extremely bad, you know, in terms of uh, difficulty, depending almost entirely on your luck, because what... His lasers and his energy blasts and whatnot that will he will shoot at you will occasionally be in a very erratic pattern. And sometimes you can get really fortunate and really lucky and be able to just continuously hit him over and over and over again and get this boss fight done in about a minute. Other times, you won't be as lucky and sometimes you, you will just get clipped by something which will elongate the boss fight for the most part. And throughout the entirety of this, you just have all the characters going, YOU CAN DO THIS! WE'RE ALMOST AT EARTH! GOOD LUCK! And all that stuff. And I don't know, I just... I really do feel that this is like a perfect finale to Adventure 2, you know? It's... A culmination of everything up until this point is great. It's great! But yeah, basically just hit him in the fucking lights until he goes down. That's mainly the gist of the boss fight. And of course, he does get harder and harder and harder and harder as many hits you do. And of course, if you uh, run low on rings, you can move over to the other side of Space Colony Arc to switch up between Sonic and Shadow to, well, replenish your rings, I suppose, temporarily. But there we go! I must destroy all the evil the professor has created. No way that's getting through! Shadow, I beg of you! Maria, give them give a chance, chance to be Take happy! happy. This is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That isn't that is still a little bit more cutscene to go, but because that cutscene was basic the, the final cutscene basically transitioned directly into the credits, so I figured it'd be best to sum up the game and give my thoughts here. This has been Sonic Adventure 2 on the Sega Dreamcast, an absolutely phenomenal game. I would recommend this game to anybody. Honestly, I would. Now, I do have a couple of issues in regards to some of the design choices during the course of the game as I've made apparently abundantly clear throughout the course of the LP. Um, I still would recommend this game. I still think it's a solid experience. It's a solid Sonic game and it's just... It is a fantastic time, you know, ladies and gentlemen. It is something I would say is worth picking up, worth trying out. Especially in this day and age where you can actually get hold of this game very easily as well, so... Uh, yeah, Sonic Adventure 2, I would give it a thumbs up. I personally love this game through and through. It has a fantastic soundtrack, it has a decent storyline. 
even though some of the writing involving that storyline is not always the best. But uh, hey, we're talking about a game following a anthropomorphic blue hedgehog that runs fast, so I can't really be too picky about that, can I? But yeah, basically, I love this game through and through, and I would honestly recommend it to anyone. And yeah, that's basically all I got to say. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. And this isn't technically the end of the LP because I got another part to come out. But, you know, for all things considered, this is the final part for the most part. So anyone who's interested in the bonus part, I will catch you all then. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish. I'll catch you all next time. Bye. Where is Shadow? Do you really think that the Professor created him, or Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right. As a child, I looked up to my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished in his life. He was my hero, and I wanted to be a great scientist like him. But... Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't know, but what I do know is... We all did it together! You're right. Next for you, Rouge. Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work for too little pay. Anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about right now. It'll all work out. We'll see. If you say so. Let's go home to the planet.